Once the files are generated and ready to upload, you will use these application screens to navigate through the migration process. To get started, click on Tasks. Then click on Data Conversion Folder. The data conversion comprises three stages. First, the import from files where the data is loaded from flat files into staging tables. Second is a round of data level validation. Next is the business validation. And finally, a load onto the primary application tables. To get started, click on the Group Name drop down arrow. Select Merchandising Hierarchy. Then, click the Entity Name drop down arrow. Select DEPS. Select the file name from the drop down menu. This is the file we used earlier in the tool. Enter a description of the file. Click Import from File. Here you can see a statistical representation of the entire load. The reason for rejection at every row column level is captured in the table. In this example, I've selected a file and I will click Download Failed Data. You can then open the file and correct the data files accordingly and then do a fresh upload. The next step would be to run a round of data validation. Click the Tasks menu. Next, click Data Validation. The data validation is a problematic verification of the checked constraints against the records that have been loaded onto the staging tables. Click the Process drop-down menu. The description of the Import from File step entered earlier is available to select. Click the Validate Data button. After getting validation, the statistics are reported graphically. The granular reason for failure is captured. When finished, click Done. The next step is running the business validation. The successfully validated records will be moved to the primary tables. The records that have been successfully validated from the previous stage are part of the business validation check. To get started, click on Tasks. Click Business Validation. Click the Process drop-down menu and the description of the import from file step entered earlier is available to select. Click Load. At the end of this check, it will report the records that have been loaded and the reasons why some have failed. With all this detailed information in hand, you will be able to easily make corrections in the data file or the transformation logic that generated them.